I ran out of opening one-liners. Enjoy this video! <laughs> and we're back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, now, it has been a, a little while, so some of these things I've actually already started to use. So, we're just gonna start with what I've got and see where it goes from there. First things first, I got <laughs> um, some of these paper doilies. I like to do doily um, stencils on clothing and canvases, but I don't always um, want to ruin my antique doily collection by using them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I want to see how these work in some art pieces that I'm going to do. I'm very excited to hopefully share that with you. Uh, next thing that I got, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I think it's going to be a moon wall hanging, but I did get some um, seashells, which I think have a pretty cool sound and hopefully I'll be using them in some upcoming videos. I got some offers to buy a couple of signs that I made, which I really don't want to sell, but um, I really do love that people love them so much. So I wanted to make a couple more signs and a gnome painting for my friend because she loved the gnome painting that I made uh, inspired by my grandmother. I may or may not have posted that yet, but um, so I got another little canvas and then I got two of these little boards. I want to see what I can do with the boards to make them kind of interesting. And speaking of that, I got another one of these types of boards and some letters for a fandom inspired uh, DIY and I can't wait until you see it. So they didn't have the letters, but I have all these random letters now with no vowels. So I got the numbers and I'm going to try and make a little address sign. If you can guess what the address is going to be, go ahead and put uh, your guess in the comments and I'll let you know if you're correct. I just started a new job doing hair. You can never have too many squirt bottles, um, which is true because I left water in my bottle that I use for work and left it in my car overnight the night that Maryland got a lot of ice and I busted the water bottle. So new water bottle for work. <laughs> and just because of work, I ended up also getting some trouser socks because, um, I don't know, they just come in really handy when you're wearing boots in the winter, um, but you don't want to put like tights under your pants. These come in really handy. I also have fallen in love with the Welch's fruit snacks, which I got for work um, because like when you're a hairdresser, you can't always stop what you're doing to like eat something. So I got these and little packages of trail mix from Aldi and that is what I've been snacking on in between clients just to like quickly dump something in my mouth between <laughs> you barely get a minute sometimes between clients and this is really helpful <laughs> to keep you going until you can eat like real food. Um, more Godiva chocolate because I need a treat. I need a little chocolate treat. <laughs> um, I also got, let's see, a package of emery boards because I want to do a little bit of distressing on the uh, circular address sign that I'm going to do. I kind of want it to look a little more old than the other signs that I've done. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The envelopes from a couple weeks ago actually worked out really great for storing my drawn patterns that I make for clothing. So I got a, another package of five of those because that worked out great. Um, I just switched jobs, like I said, and I made a couple of DIYs that hopefully you'll see on this channel for some old coworkers of mine, but I wanted to, sorry about that. I wanted to wrap them for them. So I'm going to give them the uh the little I made them little flower arrangements I'm gonna put them in these bags because so this is a really pretty color you know let's see what else Ooh, I want to do a flower arrangement for my bedroom and they had these fake cherry blossoms and I thought those were pretty and then they also had these butterfly flower things so I thought it would be really cool to maybe do uh, a flower crown for the spring with these really pretty yellow flowers that had the butterfly. They're a little smushed, but I'll try and figure out how to smooth them out. And what else did I get? This isn't from the Dollar Tree, but I'm just going to recommend this. If you get these at Aldi, this is delicious. And they come individually wrapped. So you can, like, this lasted me like two weeks. Like, you can take one and just have a tiny little chocolate snack. Um, but yeah, like, this, <laughs> the dark chili is delicious. And then you can get those at Aldi. Not the Dollar Tree, but 
it's in my Dollar Tree bag because I was eating them. And again, I had so many people that fell in love with some of the signs that I made for this channel. I, I was going to sell them, um, the one that I made, and then I wanted to make myself a new one. So I'm going to make a new Buzz Off sign. I've got an arrow because I thought that was a fun shape. And then I got that arrow because I also thought that was a fun shape. I just got some moss for my flower arrangements. Oh, and here's another one of the flowers. So this one has some really pretty like ombre uh, flowers and then a little yellow butterfly. And I thought that was super cute and it would make a really nice flower crown. Little plastic succulent. And then for the flower crown, I may try to weave in some LED lights, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, you know, because I go to Fairy Con a lot and I go to the Bad Fairy Ball and the Good Fairy Masquerade and, you know, I go to these fairy festivals and I thought it would be really cool to try and get some lights in a flower crown so that it looked like my flowers were grow glowing in the dark. So that'd be cool. And the other day I was trying to do a DIY for y'all and I couldn't find um, actual uh, duct tape in my room. So I just got some blue duct tape. They had a whole bunch of colors though. So if you're looking for duct tape for something, this might be a good source for you. Cause they had like purple, silver, blue, green, red. They had like a whole bunch of colors Man, that moss got everywhere in that bag. And then I'm trying to bring single-handedly bring the idea of wearing bow ties back. It's not really bows, uh, bow ties. I've been wearing a lot of like button up shirts and I just think it's really cute to tie a ribbon around my neck. Uh, like it just, it adds like a little dapper quality to it. So I got this like metallic kind of peach colored ribbon. I got blue, black, and purple, and I'm just going to make a couple of little like bow ties to go around my work shirts. Cause you know, being a hairstylist, we have to wear like all black or solid black, solid gray, solid white. So it's just a nice little way to like spruce up, add some color, like a little bit of spring energy to an outfit. And I've really been enjoying wearing them. So that's all that I got for today. It's quite a haul and most of it is craft supplies to make stuff for you. So have a nice day. If you like this video, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing, or sharing the video with your friends. I also have a link to my coffee account down below. Until next time!